Alright, so here we have the retail packaging for the UMA Lynx. Um, this is a phone jack extender for the UMA Tello. So this here is an UMA Tello. I've got the wireless adapter here <coughs> so I can uh, set it away from my router without having my router plugged in back here. And then basically the Tello is a VoIP uh, phone system. You can port your own telephone number from uh, AT&T or Cincinnati Bell or any other old school POTS telephone provider and then use this for about $375 a month and get all the same features as you would on the $40 a month uh, old telephone line contract. So the issue here is we have one central unit, but uh, unless you want to rewire your house, you can't plug your house system into this. So basically you have either one telephone or you have to get uh, one of those DECT 6.0 phones and put them all around your house and have the base station sitting right next to it. So to get around that, you could buy a remote phone jack from UMA. This is a new product that came out in October of 2012. All it does is put a remote phone jack anywhere in your house. This device just uh, wirelessly syncs to this through DECT 6.0. I've been having issues because the directions will tell you. All you have to do is plug in the links where you need it and then the amber light will start blinking and when it starts blinking you hold down this here Handset registration mode enabled. And then it'll search for your UMA links and sync up. And that's it. The problem is that uh, when I plug in my UMA links, the amber light turns on solid. It does not blink. I've gone through all the motions of resetting the device. And then when I contacted tech support, they told me it's too far away from my Tello, even though it's about maybe seven, eight yards away. Uh, so I moved it closer and plugged it in here. They told me it's the power source next. So I plugged it into every outlet in my house. And this is a typical suburban American house. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with the power supply. So I'll show you what happens. But essentially what happens is I have to plug, unplug, and go through that cycle 30 times. Sometimes I get lucky on my 10th try and then it'll finally work as it should. So I'll go ahead and show you what I have to go through to get my UMA links to work properly. Uh, this is set behind my TV and when you plug it in, as the direction states, it's supposed to be an orange blinking light or an amber blinking light is what it says. Now I can leave this plugged in for a whole day. It'll never start to blink. What I learned, if I can reach this, is that I have to keep unplugging and replugging, doing it maybe 20, 30 times until it finally decides to work. Well, uh, works. Well, actually, not for case. Let's see how many tries it takes. There it goes. I don't know how many tries that was. At least now it remembers its settings, so I don't have to keep resyncing it to my Tello. And as you can see, maybe it's a bit too bright, but it's both blue now. <clears throat> which means it's synced and it's working so after a lot of hassle speaking with multiple telephone representatives then emailing their supervisors I finally received a replacement for my uh, oddly working UMA links so I'll show you I, I should have started recording this I already synced this to my Tello 
but uh, I'll show you what happens when I plug in both of these. So this is the defective one. We'll go ahead and plug it in. You see that amber light just immediately turns on. It's supposed to be blinking and it's supposed to go to blue if it's synced to my UMA. It just does not. It'll stay that way forever. And the only way to fix it is to unplug where it turns off and replug and keep doing that, cycling the power. So we have the new one. Let's see what happens when I plug it in. Immediately it goes into blink mode, but it's already been synced. So instead of what it does, if you can tell, it has a blue light that shows that it knows it's been synced before, and then the orange light starts blinking, saying it's looking for my tello, and voila! Both lights are blue and it's synced to my tello. So if you received one of these Lynx devices and it gives you that solid amber light, it is broken. As for an exchange, uh, I didn't have to pay for shipping, but it was quite a hassle talking to multiple different people over about a full week before they finally agreed to exchange it.